Hey guys, T-Max signing in and welcome to another video and in yesterday's video I received this comment you can currently see on the screen now and there you can clearly see that Simon asked if I could show him the best player to use in my opinion within FIFA 17 Ultimate Team so I thought why not make this video guys and show you some overpowered players. Before we actually get into this video I'd really appreciate it if you can drop a like on this video if we can hit 150 plus likes that would be amazing. In my past few videos, you guys have been smashing that like button. In fact, you've been destroying it. But yeah, if we could do that again on this video, that would be amazing. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content. Now, as we all know, there are a lot of overpowered players in FIFA 17. I thought to make it easier on you guys, I'll pretty much release the different leagues in different videos. Otherwise, it would just be too much to take in in one video. And I also thought I would separate it in terms of price. So I'll start off with a cheaper player. Players and then show you the more expensive players in separate videos and if you guys think that's a good idea let me know down in the comment section and also if you'd rather just see all of the players in one video let me know and I could try and make that happen as well now today I'm starting with cheap overpowered BPO players and getting straight onto the attackers these are the attackers that I chose to put in this video there's a lot more attackers you could have gone for but the ones that are more effective in my opinion are these set of attackers as you can see there I threw in wingers as well as strikers as some of these wingers you could even play them as strikers and they'll still perform and as you can see there we have Musa, Sterling, Sane, Mane and Origi and all these players guys are so effective in game. I mean you guys might have players you like more than these but for me these are the go-to guys if you've not used them before if you're struggling these are the people to go for and they will make changes in your team. For example Musa he's got unbelievable pace his dribbling also allows him to dribble through players and actually go through one goal and create chances and it might even go as far to say he's on Vardy's level if not even better because in game this guy is so effective Sterling has got a bit of strength about him he's not even a strong player which is the thing but if he gets through on a ball and a defender comes onto him somehow he powers through he's been doing this for me for many games I've actually been playing in foot champs if you want to see footage of me on foot champs and the teams I'm using also let me know down in the comment section and Sterling has been a beast as you can see on this card he's got 93 pace 86 dribbling and all this just adds on to how good this guy is. Sane is another one. Main reason I like this guy apart from his pace is the fact that he can create chances and by that I mean like crosses he'll put in will be insane. His passes tend to be better than most players in the same position and yet the guy plays really well for me. Same with Mane but Mane seems to be one of those players that can keep the ball in most situations which I like and Origi is just one of those underrated players that when you're playing him as a striker he'll just perform on the day. The guy will get you goals. There's also players out there that Dele for you that will play well in similar positions but the only reason I haven't really put him there is because he's not as easy as these guys to use and if you're someone who's struggling in foot jumps or just struggling to get through the divisions these are the players you need to be looking for if you're trying to build yourself a BPL team. Next we've got the midfielders as you can see here they're another key feature to your team as obviously you want a solid midfield as well as a really good attacking midfield depending on what formations you're using the players I've gone for in my midfield here are Matic, Eriksen, Deli Ali Kuyate Schneiderlin and Delft. Deli Ali is actually a bit of a pain to me right now because I am a Chelsea fan and we lost 2-0 because of that guy but that's the story for another day. Going back to the players, players in there like Matic, Kuyate, Schneiderlin and Delft are solid. Delph is one of those players that are a bit in between. The guy can attack when he needs him to. And even though he doesn't have the best defensive stats, he can also be fairly defensive, which is why he's actually managed to make it into the midfielders. If you are looking to have solid midfielders in your team, obviously out of the list you can see there, the ones you're going to want to really use much more of are Matic, Kuyate and Schneiderlin because they're tall, they're defensive and they're very effective in game. I know you guys might just think I'm saying this, but if you try them for yourselves, you see what I mean. And as for Ericsson and Deli Ali these guys are just really good at attacking they're not even the fastest which is the funny thing but attacking wise these guys will create chances for you and out of all the cheaper central attacking midfielders i've used these two are the best which is why they're in my midfield and also just in eden the reason i have players that are tall in my midfield such as you can see there with kiyate schneiderlin and matic is because it makes it easier for them to win headers as in games headers could actually lead to chance creations which is why you need tall and solid players in your midfield can't be losing those headers guys now when it comes to your defenders you need people that are strong 
you need pacey players and you need players that can pretty much stop you from conceding goals and these set of defenders I have for you guys are key and as you can see there I decided to have both centre backs and wing backs there to show you a good selection of players to go for and starting off with the centre backs we have Casabella, Gillibodje and Van Dijk in there mainly because these guys are effective Gillibodje and Van Dijk are both ridiculously strong Van Dijk has got something like 92 strength and Gillibodje's got 86 strength which is still good given the fact that he is a non-rare card Casabella is in there mainly because he's got the pace he's not the strongest of the bunch when it comes to setting backs but he's got 81 physical on him which isn't too bad and in game this guy is a beast I use him alongside Smallin the main reason I haven't got Smallin in the list is because he's above the 10k price mark and with all the players you'll be seeing in this video they're below that 10k price mark which makes it easier for you guys out there actually trying to build affordable teams because not everyone's got that coinage if you know what I mean on to the wing backs as you can see in there we've got Valencia, Bellerin, Shaw and Aspicueta these players are insane they've played so good for me it's actually crazy guys and starting off with Valencia in game this guy makes a difference he makes a big difference he's got 84 pace doesn't seem like that though in game in game he seems a lot faster and if you're in situations where you're attacking this guy will get up the pitch and put in some of the most beautiful balls into the box you've ever seen making it easier for your strikers to score headers he's just a joy to use he's in fact one of my favorite defending players in the whole game he's actually that good he's more towards the pacey side i mean if you want to build a sweat team with a right back that likes to catch up with pretty much anyone bellerin is the main man the fastest player on the game is Aubameyang. he's got 96 pace on his normal card which is just one more than this guy and with defenders they usually seem faster than they actually are so you can only imagine how fast this guy is i'll probably still prefer valencia over bellerin but bellerin is another good player to go for there's obviously players out there like walker but i've not put him in this list because he's above the 10k price mark and like i said earlier on i'm trying to keep it affordable for some of you guys and as for sure and as they're just both tanks i mean you're looking at their cards you see 82 pace and 79 pace and you think oh no they're not gonna be that fast in game but in game i swear these two have amazing positioning because they're always where i need them they're always strong enough to catch up to pretty much anyone that comes up against them and as you guys all know your squad wouldn't be complete without a good keeper and staying with the bpl theme these are in my opinion the best keepers in the bpl as you can see i've only put those two there because i don't have to put anyone else everyone else is irrelevant to these guys if you're looking for a keeper less than 10k coins th these are just the ones begovic and butland are the main ones to go for i mean overpowered isn't even the word for these guys they are better than that if you've come up against them in game you will know what i'm talking about okay guys that was pretty much it for this video once again if you enjoyed it make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated and if you guys actually want to see this again down in the comment section guys let me know what you want to see next in terms of this style of video what league you want me to cover next you want me to do the cheaper or the more expensive players and i can do it all for you guys because i know everyone has different budgets and i can cater to that so just let me know and if you're someone out there who's struggling to get into the foot champs or anything like that if you build a squad with the players i've shown you today yo guys you will be making moves anyways that is it for today remember if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my upcoming content i've got squad builders on the channel transfer news i'm showing you overpowered players on the daily so subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that if you want to talk to me outside youtube i'm on twitter snapchat and instagram all links are down in the description and for today this is t-max signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya